if you have one piece of advice to give like the audience like mm -hmm. just regarding this topic and everything and like growing up and going to college and stuff what would it be that you <sighs> I'm trying to figure out how to word this. You don't matter. Um, and how? what I mean by that is, in a hundred years, the only person who's gonna regret not doing things is you. Spend your youth enjoying your energy, the energy that you have just being youthful, um, the passions that you're going to discover, and um, the people that you're meeting. Just live for yourself. Do things that you are interested in, because in the end, in a non-depressing way, we're all gonna die anyways. <laughs>
this is what I need to do. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I've got this list. I'm checking the things off. These are the things that are important for a college application. And it's true that those things are great on a college application, but the reason they're great on a college application is because they're meaningful to the individual. It's definitely present at CCA. You know, freshmen are like, what courses do I take to get into this school? You know, what grades do I have to get to get into the school? What extracurriculars do I have to do to get into the school? Um, I was overwhelmed most of my underclassmen years, um, even a junior year too, um, just by the sheer amount of things that I was doing. It was a lot on me and um, I definitely just spent a lot of nights like stressing out in my room, just doing math homework over tears and it was brutal. I kind of sucked it up and I knew that I had to get an A to make my parents happy to make colleges happy and I pushed myself and I did it and by the time summer came around like I was fine but the school years were hard especially during midterms, finals, AP season. I always encourage students to not let school be the only thing they have going on in terms of like it's you're so much more than that you should have time for so much more than that yeah school's important but I don't want it to be um, something that just takes over all other aspects of your life. The college system used to be, I'm paying you, what are you gonna give me out of my money? Now it's more, you're lucky you got in, you know, pay us all this money, and then maybe we'll support you a little bit. You'll get, your, you'll get our college's name on your uh, diploma. I think the way people are handling it is bad because, I mean, the thing is, is that students are smart and if the colleges decide to alter like how they're gonna do applications, the students are gonna alter their own methods to figure out what they want. Um, and it's never gonna be a fair game. You look and you see how much of a hold college has on the people around you. And it's sad, like it's sad to look at because when you're 14, 15, 16, 17, those are the most like some of the most formative years of your life. You are becoming a person in those four years. And I just wonder how different it would be if people, instead of trying to become a person they thought colleges would like, they just became the person that they wanted to be. So recently I'd heard on a podcast someone say that they define success as a choice-filled life. And I've been thinking about that a lot. And I think that that that's a really great way to look at it. And I think having options and being able to do the things you love or the things that are right for you is really important. Everything you do now, like 100 years later, isn't gonna matter, you know what I mean? Like the only person that's gonna matter to is you. Just be authentic and live for yourself, not for other people. And I know that's hard with like parental pressure, but try your best to do something that makes you happy and do something every day that you find joy in. I mean, we only have one life, so why would you waste it? Why would you, wa I mean, why am I wasting 18 years trying to get to this one place when I could have spent those 18 years enjoying my youth? And so I've kind of come to a realization that in the end, you just have to enjoy what you're doing in the moment. I am not my happiest when I'm sitting at my desk at 1 a.m. cramming for a test the next morning because I want to get that A on the exam in order to improve my grades. I'm happiest when I'm outside with my friends, just not thinking about any of that, listening to music, doing like super basic things like that that don't require money or like super hard work that's just gonna like kill you in the end know that these next four years aren't your entire life, they're just the next four years. Um, and then the four years after that aren't your entire life, they're just the next four years after that. Um, so just focus on becoming a good person and then focus on all the other stuff.